Hi all you Real Band users. We're back again in the pre-release version of Windows 11 to try out Real Band. If you haven't seen my video where I tried out Bandit Box in Windows 11, I encourage you to go check it out, but if you have, this video will follow the same format. Once again, if you're here just to find out if it works, good news, it does. I have had zero crashes, graphical or audio issues, or really had anything go wrong with Real Band here. So far I'm quite happy with Windows 11 in that respect. As I mentioned in the previous video though, this is still an early release of the operating system, so I'd suggest most of you wait until Windows 11 is officially released before you go try it out for yourself. Now I'm just going to run through a quick test of the major features, mainly being generating some tracks and recording some MIDI and audio. I've got a chord chart already created, so let's just generate that. And perfect, let's give that a play. Excellent stuff. Now let's add a bit of organ to this one. I've got my MIDI controller plugged in, so let's just go check the MIDI settings first. They are under Options, Preferences, MIDI. And I'm going to take a look at my MIDI devices. Yep, I've got my input driver selected here, so that's good. And I don't need an output driver. So let's uh, record a bit of MIDI here. That's good enough for a fourth try, so I'll keep that one. All right, now let's add a little bit of guitar. So now that I've got my guitar recorded, I should probably do something with it. So let's add some effects. I think I will start by adding a tremolo, which would probably sound quite nice. And I think it probably needs a little bit of a, an EQ. Let's just take a little bit of the lows down and uh, add a little bit of the high mids. That'll probably sound pretty good. And let's give that a listen. Excellent, that sounds good. We've got a song now. So there you have it. Real Band is working perfectly in Windows 11. Thank you all for watching this video, and as always, have fun.